Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Rowe. I'm working for Red Hat as a technical marketing major. So in this video and tutorials, I'm going to show you how Forecast builds your Amazon Lambda function. So this is one of the tutorial uh, how Quarkus bring Java developer to serverless. Let's get started. So uh, the first thing you need to pick up uh, the Quarkus extension to implement the Amazon Lambda function. So Quarkus uh, luckily provide a couple of Amazon Lambda functionality with the uh, edge part of the Quarkus extensions. So based on that Amazon Lambda extension, uh, Quarkus enable Java developer to uh, implement uh, the probable function and with the, uh, some kind of uh, uh, capability like explore your RESTful API based on the Vertex web and uh, undertow the sublet container and uh, rest easy for JAX-RS uh, implementation. And Quarkus also uh, provide a new, uh, edge, a new uh, funky uh, extension for multiple uh, serverless platform. The Quarkus Funky is a new is part of the new uh, serverless strategy. It aims to provide a standard uh, portable Java API, and which uh, it allows Java developer to write uh, deployable function based on Quarkus Microservice application, and then deploy a multiple serverless platform such as Amazon Lambda and Azure Function and Knave and Knave Event and etc. We have a more couple of the uh, Amazon Lambda or Amazon uh, extension like Amazon Alexa and Amazon uh, Camo Lambda uh, and Amazon X-Ray uh, etc. Okay, jump into demo, uh, how Corpus will make it happen. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is my sample application. Uh, the Quarkus uh, implement a, a couple of the function uh, capability. So the one of the good thing of uh, the, uh, the today I'm going to use actually uh, the Quarkus test uh, Quarkus uh, funky Amazon Lambda extension uh, because this is a really uh, simple. The Quark the funky API is a very simple not complex, which means uh, the, the one of the goal of the, the Quarkus Funky uh, allows the developer to uh, build a more simple RPC framework as a runtime, which means you can create as smaller as or as optimized as possible the Quarkus runtime and the deploy a simple API using annotation from Q, and then you can uh, expose to your Microsoft application on multiple serverless platform. But some, it, even though it's less flexibility, but it's uh, more uh, not complex and very simple to implement your Microsoft application as a functions. So today I'm gonna use the uh, Quarkus font funky Amazon Lambda extension uh, Quarkus provides and uh, one of the good thing is this extension you can still use the Pozo Java class uh, when you implement uh, your uh, business application so here is a friend and a greeting uh, one of the Pozo Java class for your input and output message when you call your function and also here you can also uh, the, the, the the Quarkus Funky support Arc uh, component, which means you can have the CDI uh, capability using uh, the inject annotation or Spring DI annotation on your application. So it's defined the, the one greeting service. Uh, we only use that the greeting sub as a CDI injection uh, using by the inject annotation the Quarkus provides, and the, you can you need to, you just need to do fun queue uh, annotation, make it this method as a function. The function name as a default uses uh, uh, the, the method name. So in this case, your function name is grid. And also, you can define your own the function name. Uh, for example, here, the, a couple of more function uh, method here. In this case, as a method name, uh, double it, but you can specify in a parameter, uh, you can define as a parameter your function name like a double. 
and here's a more function the hello and to lowercase and a, and double but one thing you should know you can deploy uh, one single function at one time as you uh, when you deploy this application artifact in an Amazon Lambda all right and uh, let's try to uh, package this application before we need to deploy in Amazon Lambda so maybe uh, clean package and uh, I'm gonna skip uh, the unit test in this time and then it takes a couple of seconds to finish and and after the Maven packaging, we have a, a, a couple of the generated codes and on the target directory. The first thing is the, the function jibs uh, represent all include all the Amazon Lambda deployment uh, required files, and then we have a manage a bash script. Uh, we can use this bash script to deploy our application artifact into Amazon Lambda Cloud. And also we have a two YAML file, the same JVM, same native JVM, the YAML file. So Amazon provide a local simulation feature. So before you deploy your application into actual uh, Amazon Cloud to make sure your application functionality uh, works properly. So, so here is the uh, JVM native YAML, which means the Quarkus uh, provides the two type of the packaging. One is a thin jar and the other is a native compilation, executable file. So because that's why we provide the two YAML file. And then, okay, and uh, here is the payload JSON. Well, we can uh, pass down this JSON. Uh, we, we can use the payload when you run uh, our uh, local simulation using the Amazon, uh, the AWS SAM CLI, the serverless uh, application model. So let's try to simulate this application, uh, the Amazon uh, function deployment. Okay, I'm going to use the uh, AWS SAM call inbox and the template using the JVM and the event the parallel JSON. I'm going to run it here. So one thing you need to uh, install the, the same CLI and also you need to run the Docker container to containerize this app, the, the simulate uh, the same CLI. So now we got a hello Bill. The name is Bill, can, we can change that. Maybe Daniel and I'm gonna save that. And then oh, one more time to reload because we, I just changed the payload and not code here. All right, so hello Daniel. Okay. Uh, and uh, the go to uh, application profile name green. Okay, let's try to use another uh, function. Uh, what about the two lower case? And then I'm going to change the payload here. Just string. We need just need the string. And what about the uh, uh, the two lower case and then make some uh, the upper case. Uh, global and workers and hackathon here in a save file and one more time uh, maybe package to create a new package file and then let's try to uh, simulate image and function deployment one more time so oh so what else? Okay, uh, the two. Oh yeah, I got a typo. A lower case. And one more time, uh, the Maven packaging uh, to create the uh, thin jar. And now I got the uh, using the same CRI to simulate the function deployment. Okay, we got to run the corpus inside the container image. And here is a lower case corpus. Hackathon. Okay, now let's try to uh, deploy this application actual Amazon Lambda. So let me take it uh, to, uh, here is my Amazon Lambda, just to make sure there's no function here. And the one thing you need to uh, create Amazon lower first and go to the identity and access manager and you need to create to Amazon Lambda low here. 
and uh, we're going to use the low this this low uh, when you deploy our application to Amazon Lambda. So there are a couple of ways to uh, uh, use this low for this specific application. So first thing is uh, you can uh, set it up uh, the low into your in uh, your bash script. For example, here uh, the ARN uh, Amazon Lambda. The Amazon Lambda low name is here. I just copy paste here, and then uh, I'm gonna deploy using um, the manage a uh, target directory, target directory, and manage bash, and I'm gonna create a new function here. So this command manage shell script uh, deploy your uh, the Quarkus application to the remote Amazon uh, cloud at, uh, uh, as part of the Lambda function. It takes a, a couple of seconds to uh, deploy uh, the remote application. It depends on the, and it takes time. It depends on the network bandwidth or network latency, etc. Okay, just let's try to. Okay, well, we just already successful and go to Lambda here. Uh, new service and I'll go to Lambda and my function. Oh, it's already here. Cool size is just full and, uh, and at the runtime, the Java 11. And go to here and then let's try to test here the configured uh, payload here. So, so we just needed to. Uh, just like the same, what else? Um, just my name is my capital name, Daniel O. And I just create uh, the name is the uh, Parker's create and then test here. And we got a detail and we got to run the, the lower case. Oh, pretty cool. And then you can keep changing your contest if uh, the payload like uh, uh, the global global Quarkus hackathon. Uh, we just test it and save a file and one more to hit the button and now we got a new run. And you could keep changing the payload just we did as the uh, using the same CLI for simulating uh, the, the Amazon Lambda the function deployment. And let's try to uh, change the code. For example, okay, uh, now I'm going to use the uh, different function, uh, the original uh, grid. And then uh, just one more time, uh, maybe packaging my application. And go to the uh, and the, during the managing packaging, the your lambda the low is will be gone because we're cleaning. So you can actually uh, put your the low name uh, in the chest command line. So the low name here, and then you can run it. And I'm gonna use the update command line parameter option, and uh, this is replace your function. And back to the here, and we need to change the uh, configuration, uh, something like name is the uh, coming is Daniel. And I just save file and test line here. Now is hello Daniel O. So, and you can change the configuration for test event, keep doing that. One more last thing is the, and uh, you could, once you test it done, maybe you don't need to uh, run your function any longer for your integration test, something like that. You can delete your function to using the, this uh, same thing and go to here and go to function and now your test is gone. Save money, just pay as you go policy, all right? Okay, uh, I think this is the, the demo is all I have I already done and just a couple of things to summarize this tutorial. So Quarkus provide uh, uh, the multiple 
uh, uh, practical uh, extension to uh, deploy your microservices uh, to function on Amazon Lambda platform. And also Quarkus Funky is a part of the new serverless uh, strategy is to make it simpler uh, your uh, function development and deployment on Amazon Lambda, even uh, the multiple serverless platform like Azure Function and KNAV and KNAV Eventing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching.